Hey everybody, welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. This is the first update that we did on the tab pool. And we changed a couple things. We replaced the rocks with bricks because the tab pools were hiding under it all the time. So we couldn't see them. And, we, and now that we have bricks so they can sun themselves and so we can still see them. We also added this sieve so one, as you can see, when they become froglets, they can get out of the water. And two, so they can hide underneath it and so they get some shade. And we also moved it more than once. First, it was over there in our first video, and then we moved it into the, into the sun, but then the water got too hot. So we moved it right here, where the water is perfect. We recorded for about six minutes, and then we time lapse it so you can see things go quicker. Believe it or not, there's actually over 50 tadpoles and polylogs combined, and four fish. I'm gonna show you a couple of different stages of tadpoles that I got in this ice cream container. I'm not gonna keep them out of the water too long because most of them still have gills and need water. I'll start with the smallest stage and go to the largest. This first one is, well, a tadpole. Still has no legs and a very big tail for its size. Now I'm moving on to something a little bigger. This is a polywog. Polywogs have at least two legs, but you can't see this one's two legs because they're teeny tiny. I guess we're going on to the next one. This is also a polywog with fairly short legs, but it has slightly longer legs than the other one that I showed you, and it has a very large tail for its size. Now we're on to the second to last stage. This is also a two-legged polywog, has a quite long tail and longer legs than the other two-legged polywogs that I showed you. It also has two little nubs that the front legs are gonna come in. And the final stage that I'm gonna show you is a four-legged polywog, or at this time or age, it's a froglet, because it has a tiny little tail and four legs and a different style of mouth. You can see the polywogs and tadpoles resting on the bricks, going up to the surface, and see the fish darting around. The image isn't close enough for you to see it, but there's actually tons of fish and tadpole poop on top of the bricks. I'm gonna put them all back into the tadpole, starting with tadpole. Next. Tiny leg polywog. Now, slightly longer leg polywog. Long back leg and nubbed polywog. And finally, the froglet. You can see that the sandbox design has little indentations, and if it rains, the overflow of water will just go out of the indentation, but if it doesn't rain and the water starts getting low, we will fill it up with hose water. When the tadpoles become frogs, and they get bigger, they might get out. And let's hope that they don't get into the pool and into the skimmers, because I'm going to have to get them out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.